Alright guys, I'm about exactly where the video left off. I found this bottle before I could go back to the um, letter thing to show you ex I was exactly where I was. So I want to show this to you real quick. That's why I started the video a little bit early. But god dang, that was tragic. Luckily, I like this game, so I don't mind playing through it again too much. But damn, man. It should go faster this time, though. I regret having to keep this message at such a distance. I do hope to f it finds your eyes and not those of another. I was not wholly honest in my first letter, for you see, there was one last thing, save for these letters that I intended to leave for you. I never saw them sailing in the ocean in my time, but before I was born, many ships came and went from the Vin Cove. I believe that the populace was more numerous back then, but as fewer ships came to Vin Cove's shores, anyone with a mind and the means took what they had and left, while they still could. Perhaps at the time, there were early rumors as the inevitable fate of the, those, these shores and lands. But obviously some remained, either due to lack of means or a desire to leave my parents. Or a desire to leave. My parents or great-grandparents stayed. In time, if there had been any rumors of malevolence at all, they surely dissipated into nothingness. But as your last, to your last inheritance, look to the cave behind my, behind your home. I have left two bottles <coughs> near a wall that you should take a closer look at with the proper tools. Thirteen roaches, that's a ton. But yeah, basically just to show you guys I am where um where I was before the video stopped. Here's my message progress. Um you're gonna see that there's one more letter I believe that I had earlier, but that's the one we just read. That's the one I just found. But everything else should be about similar to where we left off. Um I don't know if I had the net or not, but now I do, so that's the only thing that might be different between the play <coughs> playthroughs. Um, I did, like, farm iron ingots this time from the Deep Dwellers. That made it, the farming go a lot quicker. Um, the only thing I think we still have to buy that's, like, an important item is the axe. Because I have the fishing net, the boat, the mining pick, the hammer, all that stuff. So we just need the axe and we should be Gucci for, like, important items that we actually have to buy. Alright. Let's crack into these other letters. This should be the spot you read about in the letter. Do you want to have mine out the wall here? You'll need a mining pick and a shovel as well as tin stamina. I have those things. Me. Also, shroom caps are pretty much free currency because you don't need them for anything later in the game. Upon the desk are various papers. The topmost one draws your att immediate attention, since it's a letter. You have discovered my great work. I have pursued the means to leave these shores forever. But I know that I cannot possibly finish it without the strength left in this frail body. I cannot let anyone else know what I have begun here. Else they will seize it for themselves. Or, or worse, destroy it. It is up to you to complete the task. If you cannot, then you will surely perish when the tide runs low and a new darkness runs over Vincove and beyond. I implore you to finish what I have begun. It is time. It is left you to you now. My legacy. All of these supplies are rotten and decayed. Empty bottle. Crates appear to be hollow, waiting to be filled with supplies. Inside the bottle, you find a letter. The collar is the key. The key is the collar. The key is required. The collar is required. It exists here and elsewhere. All at once. I boarded it up. I had to. I used it too much, and too much came through. Oh, the places I went. The places I saw. Sometimes the same, sometimes new. Sometimes old. Strike once, but remember which way is home. So there's four places where you get letters. Five places, maybe. You can get, there's the quest letters, which are the red ones, which you can find around the cabin and the spawning area. This is a place where you can find letters. That's the first place you really find letters outside the cabin. You find letters here. This is an important place to find letters. Um, that you can get one letter a day and then you find empty bottles after that. Um, the ending letters are all in here, like in this area. Once you start repairing your ship with these bad boys, you get a letter. Um, and in the end game, you just pretty much farm those things. Pro tip that I did not know when I first played this. The longer the days go, the more diseased fish you find. So it's better to farm your starting fish, just pure farm those suckers. Because you're gonna need them later. As you come home, you can't help but remember the words from the letter about the key and the color. It referenced something being bored up. Where, where else could your father have boarded something up? Other than this cabin, perhaps the best place to start looking would be here. Right here. You expect the part of the wall a bit closer. The wood, here it is, just as dirty as much of the rest of the wall. But you, 
as you look closer, you see the cracks between the boards. Light is shining through, but it's not going to the outside. There's something behind this wall. Break down the, some of the boards and open the wall? Yes. You break down the wall until there's the large enough gap to fit through. You reach down to collect one of the cobalt shrimps growing inside your cabin, but as you do, the fungus shrinks and contorts down into the floorboards beyond your reach. When you step away, it returns. What a jerk. Inside the bottle, you find a letter. I appear to have found a closet or storage space of someone's home. Apologies for pulling up the boards. I have no way to return from where I came and also nail them back in place. But it seems that you or someone decided to board up the way. Perhaps I too will come to that conclusion. You find this. Know that I wish you no ill will. I simply wish to find the way back. It's not acting the same way as it once did. I'm having trouble finding the right path. I believe it's changing. I just hope I can find somewhere with food soon. Else, I may have to return to this place and take my chances. Break it. Yeah. And we got wood for doing it. Sick. This is another place where you get a bottle. This is one of the other places. Inside the bottle was a letter. Eyes can only see you so much. Red, blue, green, yellow, orange. When is color more than a word? It becomes more than a word when it is capable of doing so much more than a word. It exists, its purpose is unclear, but it creates a way. A way to and a way through. It is only by colors that you can find the way. That is the only way to reach it, if the color still beats. These, when I first played through, I didn't know that this is where you found the strange crystals. Because this changes color. When you change the color, it takes you to a different path. That's the key of the color. The color is the key. Um, yeah, I didn't know that when I first stopped. I knew about the colors changing, but I didn't know the strange crystal was there. So, now you now we know. So this run should go a lot faster, because I was looking for that forever, to be honest with you. The second part's going to be so much faster than the first, because the first I was filming my way through, and I didn't know what I was doing. And now I do. I'm an expert and a professional. <laughs> oh, gosh. I remember correctly, I do need steel, so I'm not going to sell that, even though it's worth money. Shroom line, as far as I know, you just sell that. It's not really worth anything. I think the same is true about copper ingots. I don't think you need much, a ton of those either. So I just want to get my axe, because I need an axe to chop down the redwood trees. And every new day... You want- all she does is sell stuff. She sells like your useless stuff, like diseased fish that you find more and more of, so... That's good. Uh... All this other stuff you kinda need to keep, so I wouldn't sell those. Shroom wine you can get rid of. Do I have enough money for the axe yet? Cause that's really the last thing you have to buy in the game. I might sell some, like, useful items. I'm not even close, never mind. I'm not selling useful items for that. Oh, I have copper and guts to sell, I forgot about that. That should get me a lot closer, because they're worth like the most money in the game apparently. Okay, I need 11 more. Where can I get 11 more? Fish bones you sell too, I don't think they do anything else either. There's some items that aren't important and there's some items that are that you can sell. So you gotta be careful about what you sell or you're gonna be grinding really long late game. I don't know, I think wood's part of the ship building, but I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if it's just that wood or the redwood wood as well. Oh, I gotta get my messages in a bottle. You fish the bottle out of the water. You gain an empty bottle, but also the letter that was inside. The scratching and scraping is getting to me lately. I didn't hear anything when me and my wife moved to the cheap cabin near the wall. It seemed like a good investment to buy a home instead of living at the end. For the first couple weeks, everything was fine, but then it started the scratching, the scraping. I've told the guards, the man I spoke to said he would look into it. When I spoke to him again, he said that he couldn't see anything from his vantage upon the wall. I would never ask him to venture beyond the wall after night, just to take a look. I know it's not safe. I just wish the sounds would stop. Don't buy a cabin near the wall. Yeah, so every day, I have to remember this as well. Look for the letters. Also, every day I try to leave at least one ironing it down here. So I need to get some of those wait, cave dwellers. I'll get the cave dwellers after I get all my bottles. There should be a bottle here soon. There it is. 
I remember visiting Vent Cove with my parents when I was a lad, but now that I'm older and a tender of Rooktown, I see the port town in a whole different way. Where are their crops? They waste the space on their roofs when they could be growing plenty of plants. At least that's how we do it in Rooktown, as it's only viable for pla planting. But here in Vent Cove, they squander what meager land they do have for the sake of rock and dirt and sand. The plants I've seen, planter boxes here and there, all seem wilted and dying. Perhaps it's the sea air. Being this close to the ocean might not be too good for plant life. Nothing grows in the redwood, and things only seem to grow, wilt and panish, perish in the Vinco. Is Rooktown, such as it is, the best place for life in the region? So the second game takes place in the Rooktown and you're a roacher. Luckily you're not a miner, because if one of those worms screeched at me, boy. Oh my god. No. That is no. That is a no. I'm trying to be careful and watching my second screen as well to make sure that my OBS isn't messing up like it did last time. Cthulhu just stole my video capture and destroyed it, unfortunately. I don't know why he would do such a thing, but he did it. Like a jerk. Okay, now I should have enough to make an iron ingot. Oh, I still got one message bottle to get to. It's hard. It's hard to remember those things. But the more you remember it, the faster the game will go, because you have to wait a day for each one. If you forget it, you have to wait an additional day, which makes the game longer. Common sense, I know, but jeez. It's tragic when it happens to you. I need to make sure I get my strange crystals, too. Inside the bottle was a letter. I am not the only one who thought has thought to leave messages laying around. There are others, such as you reading this. You know how to look. But what is it you think you know? What are you looking for? Have you found it? Surely not if you're reading this. So it leaves me to wonder, what's out there? Do you know more than I do? Do I know more than you? You look here for guidance or for curiosity, which means only, which only means one thing. I'm the one who knows. Yeah, that dude's crazy. Whoever's writing that letter is a crazy person. Also, there's some books I have to get which are in the library. They're not the same as the scrolls, but they're similar because you have to collect they are all in the same spot, but you actually have to use, um, they show up differently on your desk. I'll show you after, hopefully I didn't just mess up my thing. Okay, it's still working, good. Because I clicked off it. The thing is, this game does a full screen, and I believe when I click off it, it can glitch like it did when Cthulhu screwed up my playthrough. I'm blaming it on Cthulhu. I don't care if it was Cthulhu or not. God dang it. What was I going to do? Oh, I was going to show you where to get the books. We'll get this message in the ball first. You found me again, but when are you? A year from now? A day? Are you watching me? Waiting to see what scraps I leave behind? For you to feed off me like some scavenger waiting for dead flesh. You look and you look, and here you found a like-minded soul, a soul like yours. That's the Redwood place. That's not where we're going first. Oh. As you enter the room, the city of Rattle springs to life on its own, clicking incessantly till the creature that was lurking around rushes out of sight, then the obsidian rattle goes silent. With the creature gone, it might be safe to peek around the room, as long as you don't disrupt the webs. Who knows if you can count on the obsidian rattle to work again. So these are where you get the books. There should be four of them. Ben 10 Stamma looking through the bookshelf. You inspect the books on the shelf. Most are worn or otherwise degraded beyond use, but amongst the rubbish, you find one book that hasn't fallen to the molds and insects of this place. You acquire the book, The Rosen Stroll. It'll be at your desk in the cabin where you'll be able to read it safely. You can't go up in this area for some reason. Even though somebody does talk about it in one of the books. You inspect the books on the shelf. Most are worn and otherwise degraded beyond use. Same thing. You acquire the book, The Turns of the Twist. It'll be at your desk in the cabin. You inspect the books on the shelf. You acquire the book, Azure Cybran. It'll be at your desk in the cabin. The last of the books. You acquire the book Winner's Misfortune. Alright guys, let's go read those books. There was a bottle up there. Oh yeah, that's one of my last red bottles. The red bottles are scattered. If you haven't been able to figure that out already. But the other bottles are all in the same area. What a magnificent collection. I'll have to sell aside plenty of time to return and peruse all the knowledge stored away here. I have already glimpsed some of it. 
through some of it. There are stories, guides, but I'm what I'm most interested in finding are books related to actual history. The tomes are old and dusty. My investigation leads me to believe that this place has not been used in some time. The door at the top of the stairs is locked, but the wood has rotted. Before I set myself to the task of reading anything here, I'll break the door and explore this place a little further. I'm sure there are many wonders yet to discover. You can't break the door. He can break the door, I guess, but I can't. Oh yeah, this room. This room is useless, by the way. As you come up the ladder, a strange scene plays out before you. You're outside amongst the ruins on a cloudy day. You can't tell where the sun is in the sky. So you can interact with these things, but there's nothing in here that you need. And these are the only things to interact with. You can see the creature moving in the distance. It's not making any sound as it stalks around the ruins or this place. You have no knowledge of the creature whatsoever, but anything that can lurk around during the day instead of the night must be terribly dangerous. Best to keep your distance. This is not a place you can safely explore. It might have like something to do with like later in the game, but right now we can't interact with it, so. All right, so now we have the books. These all come from the boat. This comes from the crystal place, like we're saying. This comes from that um, where you can go with your boat. This comes from uh, somewhere. Where does this come from? Oh, this is the first area you go to where you steadily get scrolls. And this is the random scrolls. Azure Cypran. I'm sorry for the fast reading, but I have a class of like maybe like three hours. So I'm trying to get like two hours of sleep and it's like a three hour class. So I'm trying to get some of it. The book depicts a story about a merchant who bought a painting from a wandering traveler. The traveler was thrilled to be rid of it. The merchant intended to sell it for a steep markup to one of the more wealthy townsfolk, but soon found that none were interested in the strange painting that folks said had a weary presence to it. All the merchant could do was hang the painting on his wall, where it remained day after day, night after night. From that day onward, the merchant asked his neighbors and those who he did business with if it felt as if they were being watched. Then there came a day when the merchant could take it no more. He threw the painting out into a nearby river that led out into the ocean. The very next day, the painting was back on his wall when he awoke. There the painting remained until the merchant's passing. It hasn't been seen since. The Turns of the Twist. The book speaks of a forest known as Redwood, and yet the author seems to be from a place that is neither Vancouver or Rooktown. It talks about how the Redwood is almost impossible to navigate very far into, unless you are well prepared. Even when you are prepared, it is unlikely that you could drive, traverse from one side of the Redwood to another. Nobody spends nights in the Redwood if they can help it. It lists various accounts of people, none of whom are familiar to you, that spent the night out in the Redwood beyond the hours that most return. It lists all of them as having never been seen again. It talks in length about how nothing can grow in the Redwood, unless you count the many monsters that lurk in the shadows as having grown. The book reads more like scientific inspection of the Redwood than any other story. The Rosenstroll. You remember your grandfather reading this story to you when you were a child. The book depicts a pathway that is referred to as pink in times, red at others, and magenta towards the end. Throughout the story, the color of the path is referred to as blue, orange, green, and yellow. The pathway leads to a place as far and wide, to great vistas, forests, mountains, cities, new and old, but it also tells of countless dangers along the path. You stray too far for too long. Once the pathway is known, it cannot, can never be forgotten. As a child, you enjoyed how fanciful the story was and how it depicted faraway places that you one day hope to travel yourself. Winter's Misfortune. As you read through the book, it reads more like a guide with insightful tips and warnings than a lengthy story. It tells of the provisions and measures one should take before the winter season comes. It talks about supplies and tools and foods that are best at lasting a long time through the winter. It mentions the usefulness of salt in well-made and well-sealed wood and, and cloth crates for long-term storage. The book describes certain monsters that have only been seen when the cold sets in, while other monsters are sighted less. It describes the howling of the winter wind having more than one voice. It warns against traveling any great distance during the winter and never traveling on the sea during the season. All right, so we gotta get our last note from the other area down here. Give me my note. Fish the bottle out of the water. I imagine these folks in Rooktown aren't having a pleasant time of things. With, with the way the weather's been for the past week or so, not a ray of sunlight going on nine days now. I wonder if it'll harm their crops. 
They're pretty serious about their plants over there, as they are a great many things. I worry most for the fellers and the reclaimers who have ventured into the Redwood under such dark conditions when monsters are more plentiful and dangerous. I suppose we're a little fortunate, at least. The tunnel between Rooktown and Vin Cove have been open for weeks now. It's not the safest, but it's far safer during t dark times as these. Could be worse, I suppose. I remember about ten years past when we had an entire dark month. Terrible time it was. Terrible time. Alright, let's get our last message in the bottle. Two empty buckets. Yay. Fish them all the water. You gain a letter. I threw it in the ocean. I don't know where it came from or who kept putting it up on my wall. It, I thought it was interesting at first. It had a way of drawing the eye to its various curiosities. But even as I slept, I could feel something raising the hairs on the back of my neck. As, I would, as if I was always being watched by something. I only had this feeling when it appeared. I took it down and stored it away. But each day it found its way back onto the wall. One of my friends, perhaps a neighbor, might, must be playing a trick on me. Always returning it to the wall while I slept. Not sure how they got inside, but it's the only explanation. But it doesn't matter. I'm now rid of it. And with this bottle cast into the ocean along with it, it's someone else's problem. Got him. Hey, did I put my ingot down there? I didn't. I didn't even put one last night. I gotta make them. I know I fished them out yesterday. I guess I just didn't stamina make them. Iron ingot. Comes from you. What? I don't have any. I must not have fished them out yesterday. Well, I suck. Way to suck me. Come here, buddy. I got two deep dwellers. That should give me some ingots. Oh, also, something that's really neat. Once you start reading about the portrait, you get cursed by the portrait. A cu curious painting. You're not sure what it depicts. You don't remember noticing it before. But to your credit, you have been quite busy. Surely your grandfather bought it, and it's been here the entire time. How else could it have gotten here? We're cursed now. Dang it. Look what you did. You did it. I don't know if I need the copper scale for anything else, to be honest with you. But yeah, we're about time to like actually start building the boat. I should be able to afford the axe now too, so. Redfin fish are good as well because you don't have to get rid of any of your good items. Those are one of those expendable items that just gives you money pretty much. They're useless later, so. Yes, we have all the important things. We can proceed. Alright. Let's get our messages in the bottle and then we're going to see if we can build anything on the boat yet. That's what we're going to do. That's our plan and I'm sticking to it. Give me a message in a bottle. Where you at? Should spawn around here, yeah. I wish Vin Cove was closer to the Redwood. I know that would be a blessing and a curse, but redwood logs are expensive. They're too heavy to transport all the way to from Rooktown by cart. The journey couldn't be made before nightfall. Even the runners on foot have to be light on their feet, or risk being caught in the dark. The cave between Rooktown and Vincove is constantly blocked up by cave ends. It's entirely unreliable. The redwood is too far from Vincove for fellers to return to Vincove after chopping down a secret tree, uh, a single tree. So fellers are people that fell trees. That makes sense. I didn't know what that was the first time, but I think that's what it is. At least before nightfall. How am I supposed to do business if I cannot get a proper supply of redwood? I can get a proper supply of redwood, and I'm about to show you how. I wouldn't sell them, though, because you need them. They're one of those items you need. How many letters are we missing? We have all the purple letters. We're working on our green. We almost have the yellow. have all our books. Missing some red letters. All right. And I believe the last red letters are inside the place with the redwood, which we're about to go to. Inside the bottle was a letter. We meet again. It's as if I can see you through the par parchment and these woods. Words. Words are hard. God, have you seen the colors? Beautiful, aren't they? 
But they're more the color, you know. How couldn't you know if you've found this? We both know the world isn't getting better. Ages have passed and wounds haven't healed. We are the same. If colors can take, then perhaps words can see. And I can see you. No, you can't, crazy man. Leave me alone. Alright. Inside the bottle, you found a letter. This is one of those red letters. Even now, my hands shake. I've tried everything. I've never seen a redwood up close. My hand was only turned for a moment, but I lost sight of it. The way is gone. Where once was an opening to the hidden place of infinite color, now there is nothing. I've used what simple tools I had with me to dig and dig, but there is no sight of it. I have even no provisions the last couple days, but out here in the redwood, I fear I won't last long after nightfall. Do not trust the way. So here, it sounds like you can get lost here, but you really can't. There's like nowhere to go, so I don't know how you got lost. And here's the last, no? Ah, I thought there was, maybe I have to come back here for the last red letter. I don't know. I know there's one more though. Make sure I, there's not one I'm missing like on the rocks or something. The game seems to be still be recording on my end, so hopefully when I upload it, it will still be recording. Oh, sorry. I gotta turn it purple. Or is there one in here that I missed, maybe? No. No red letter in here. Have you been to all the places? Is there one in here? I don't believe so, but... What I remember, this place said there's nothing in it, really, except for those monsters that don't do anything. Except roam around. Nope, we got all the red letters. What was that one? What a magnificent collection. I'll have to set aside- Oh, that's the one I read in that library. I guess I already had it. Thick. Um... Let's make our- whatever we can make. Then we'll sell it, or... Turn it into, um... Whatever I need for the thing. We'll see what the book will take from, or the boat. What I can do with the boat. Words are hard. And eat empty bottles. I don't really have enough time to do anything, but just see if I have the resources. What takes the least stamina? Can I do this? Nope, don't have enough seal. Can I do this? Nope, don't have enough gleam. What about you? Nope, haven't made my gilded liquid yet. What about you? Ah, nope, can't do anything. God dang it. Might as well fill up my buckets before the night ends. So I can make those bottles I need. But yeah, we're in like the super end game now. I only have these two places to get letters at anymore. And then, um, might as well catch. Some of these while I'm waiting for the boat model, yeah. I think I might return to Rooktown. At least there I had options. I could be a miner. The caves beneath and around Rooktown are plentiful with one ore or another. But there's nothing in the mountains accessible to Vinco. With wish the tunnel wasn't blocked up again. It's been that way for over a week now. Even if I wasn't a miner, I heard that roaches all make a sustainable living. That's who you play in the second one. Living down in Rooktown's underground, but that lifestyle might be a bit too frugal for me. I admit I'm not courageous enough to be a feller, let alone a reclaimer. I need a safe occupation. I wonder if I can learn, could learn to be a physician. Those reclaimers always need patching up. How hard could it be? Hard? Hey. I just want one more sea shroom. Sea shroom! Give me a sea shroom! There we go. Must have a good bit of buckets. You need buckets though, because you have to make um It's one of the things you have to have for the whatever it's called. 
need iron ingots as well, so. I gotta get my message from over here. A thing occurred to me while I slept last night. My messages, these messages to you would be out of order, out of time, out of place. Who could understand a story from middle, end, and beginning? Or even in reverse, perhaps it does not matter. If I kill a man, take his property, burn him, and run away forever, does it matter that I ran away first, then burned him, then took his property, then killed him? I have seen the fall of my own town, but does it rise after or before? I don't know, man. No say. You need 20 redwood logs. Oh. Um, cannot hurt to mine those. Oh. I'm glad it doesn't require stamina to go place to place, or I would get so stuck in this game. Yeah, so we only have green, we have one more yellow letter, and then we just have to fix the boat. These are your fix the boat letters. But yeah, we're doing really good with our pacing. This is a lot faster than the um, first playthrough I did. Any more empty bottles. I need to get more iron ingots, god dang it, so I can make more buckets and everything else I need. Come here, you deep rock dwelling buttholes. The more buckets I get, the more sand I can get to make bottles, and I need a lot of bottles right now. Did I get both messages for the day? I think I did, but I just want to make sure. If you pick up a bottle that's not the bottle with the message, then you already got it. You fish the bottle out of the water, you gain an empty bottle, but also a letter that was inside. There's a story shared from generation to generation in my family. Well, I suppose it's not much of a story, but a description of a place far away across the ocean. The trees are green, unlike the redwood. There are towns larger than Rooktown. There are also boats, bigger than I've ever seen personally. Boats the size of horses. I'm not sure if I believe any of it. I've never seen a boat any bigger than a bed. I've never seen a green tree. Though I wonder how beautiful it might be. All these... Are these... Are there really towns out there larger than Rooktown? If so, what are those people up to? Do they wish fish and mine and cut trees? Do they live like we do? Do they have to worry about monsters in the forest or the sea or the mountain? Or do they ever exist at all? I don't know. Good questions. Wish I had an answer for you, but I don't. Alright. Alright, let's get our last yellow letter and then we have two more, well, three more green letters to get. Two more nights we have to rest. I can trust you, can't I? My friend, through words, through parchment, our fates touched through time, through these colors. Perhaps I've found your messages. Though I wonder, do you even leave any? Surely not everyone who has experienced what we have leaves a footprint in their wake. Do you think we'll meet? Or does this thing not allow us? But back to the subject of trust. There is a cult in my town. You surely know as well as I that there are unexplainable things. We're both using one of them. But this cult, cult, oh da this damn cult, they meddle with far more than we do. We poke, we prod, we dabble. But they, they dissect, they diagnose, they study. Their knowledge locked away amongst themselves. I can't find it. Perhaps if I'm especially lucky, I'll stumble across a color that takes me to a time after they have all fallen to dust and their treasures are exposed. But it's more likely that you're one of them, waiting to dissect me and glean all I have learned. But what are you waiting for? I don't know, I'm waiting for you to stop being so crazy, dog. to be honest. To be honest. Let me see if I have anything else I can transform. Wine. Alright, see what we can do. What was I going? Oh, uh, I don't remember actually. That's what I was going to do. I need empty bottles again. So, we're going to make buckets. 
I need 25 wood. Jeez. Guess I don't need that many empty buckets. Let's see if we can make anything yet for our boat. I need iron ingots. God dang it. I suck. I don't have enough seal yet. I don't have enough anything, apparently. 10 gleam, 10 murky oil. Yes. You follow the formula lists among the paperwork. With a bit of work and a portion of the day behind you, you've managed to complete the mixture and concoct a plenty of sealant for use around the ship. While meticulously applying sealant to the hull of the ship, you notice a message in a bottle tucked into a hole in a wall. How wonderful it will be to dive beneath the waves. If there were should be creatures of the air out amidst the sea, they will easily be avoided. There are many, more, many extraordinary things out beyond these shores. Work on the key? You aren't too sure what you're doing with the shiny crystals. All you can do is follow the loose instructions on the paper. You take the time to carefully place each of the nine crystals in the ship. While setting the strange crystals, your candle light reflects off one of them and causes you something to glint in the corner of your eye. You walk over to it, inspect it, and fi find a message in a bottle. Beautiful, gleaming, glittering, echoing. What is time to the key but permanence? What is the distance to key the key but a blink? Eternity waits, for eternity is always there in every direction. The color is the key, and the key is the color. You didn't know already. I need copper ingots. Iron ingots. I have buckets. I need bottles. Fill up all my buckets. Okay, give me more golden resin, please. Nobody believes me, but at least if I write it down, the paper can't roll its eyes or laugh. I met a woman today. She came into the tavern here in Vincove. She was curious about the town. I figured she was from Rooktown, but as we got to talking, she didn't seem to have any knowledge of common things in regards to Rooktown or Vincove. I'd never met a strange person as strange in conversation as she was. Now, I've met my fair share of loons, but she was well put together, both mentally and in her attire. When I asked several times in roundabout ways where she was from, she always dismissed the inquiry by telling me she wasn't from here. I didn't notice any pe weapons on her person, but maybe she's a reclaimer from a faraway town. Somewhere out beyond the Redwood, but best to my knowledge, and the knowledge of anyone around, nobody's ever made it to a place beyond the Redwood. So where did she come from? After answering her question, she finished her drink and left. Haven't seen her since. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna craft some things back at the town. Extra one. Lucky. Sleeping quick save. Make our buckets or sand. We can do that outside actually. Um, what else do I need to make with something out here, probably? Should have enough golden, gilded resin now, I believe, even with, especially since they dropped some for me. I'm gonna need some iron ingots, of course, and some wood, I'm guessing, maybe. I should have enough buckets, actually. I don't think I need the wood, but we got it, though. Should I have enough copper ingots now? Uh, I don't have any empty bottles, apparently, which is unfortunate. Alright, let's see what we can make with the boat. 
Oh, I now need to get my second message from here, actually. Could be a new message for the day, I believe. Yeah. This letter is a memory of my friend. He hadn't been a reclaimer long, in fact. Cynthia and I both thought that he shouldn't have taken up the profession, but once Travis's mind is made up, he becomes fixated. So Cynthia and I trained him up over the past couple months. We helped him choose the best equipment he could afford. We started slow, fighting only the weakest creatures on the outskirts of the Redwood. But when do things go the way you want them all the time? I didn't even see what happened. What got him? S Cynthia said the light reflected off his skin and it was like a blur or a shadow. The creature, whatever it was, didn't even stick around. It dispatched Travis as if he were merely in its way. Trying to get somewhere else, Travis didn't have any family. We gave him a reclaimer's funeral and burned his body amongst some redwood branches. That and his, this bottle will be f his final memorial. You find this message, just know that even when you're fully prepared, the world can take a foul turn. So. Alright, let's see what we need up here. I need redwood logs for sure. What about this? I don't have enough yet. God dang it, dude. You follow the formula listed on the paperwork. With a bit of work and a portion of the day behind you, you manage to complete the mixture and concoct plenty of fuel mixture A. While pouring the mixture into its appropriate compartments within the ship, you notice a hole in the wood of the ship. A bottle with a message was hiding within. The transfer of knowledge is important. We cannot act on what we know ourselves. We must impart it to others. There are useful tools all around. Think of the wonders we can achieve if we use them at, to our their full potential. Do I have enough of these? Yes! You follow the schematic listed amongst the paperwork. With a bit of work and a portion of the day behind you, you manage to complete and install the propeller. While installing the propeller, you discover a message in a bottle wedged into a nook in the outer hull of the ship. Be free of these shores is all I've ever longed for. I've felt trapped for so long, the day seems endless. Waiting, waiting, waiting. The day will come. It must. I don't have enough empty bottles. Okay, we need to make empty bottles. Easy, my friend. Wait, oh, darn it. Give me your empty bottles. But yeah, if this seems like it took a long time, my first playthrough, this took a really long time because I had to go back to the starting area to get like murky oil and stuff like that. And that took forever. For the sheer fact that diseased fish become very plentiful as the days go on, making it very hard to progress at the end. I was gonna do something. Yeah. I should have enough gilded resin now, god dang it. I would think. Yeah, I think I when I got out of here it was like day 29. I wonder if the game has like a bad ending at day 30, but I have no idea. Alright, let's see if we have enough gold resin. I'm probably gonna have to farm candles again, or I could buy them. You can buy candles, so... I need murky oil. That sucks. Okay. I need to get some logs too. Um, murky fish, please. You see how they're all diseased? That really sucks because it takes the same amount of stamina to farm them out. Wow, I'm out of roaches? That's unfortunate. Give me a murky fish! God dang it! How many murky oil do I need? I need three. God, that's a lot. It's not super a lot, but it's a lot. More than I want to find. Might as well farm this while I'm picking up roaches too. Cause I need a lot, a lot of bottles. There's a bottle. Got the last bottle for the uh, left area should be today, too, I believe. Where's that? Where'd that bottle at? Send it. 
There it is. I've seen the troubles some I've seen the same troubles every miner has. Strange insects in the mines, cave ins, hard working conditions. Some days it's stifling hot, other days it's cold as ice. But last week I was off mining on my own, or maybe oh, maybe I shouldn't mention I'm from Rooktown. I didn't even hear the thing. I turned my head and there it was, blending almost perfectly with the stone floor and walls. But it was like liquid, and it was moving. I thought I was seeing things at first. I panicked and swung my ping at, pick at it. But when I did, a loud sizzling like the sound of burning meat came from the thing. It kept moving towards me, but it was slow. Luckily, I had the sense to run, and I'm glad I did. When I inspected my pick later, the thing was ruined. It was half melted and worn away, like it was being reforged at the blacksmith. Now I'm going to have to buy a new one. It's why I'm here in Vincove. I'm hoping my cousin, cousin could spare me some coin for a new one. But now I'm terrified of the mine. If the tenors can make the trip between towns on the surface road in 10 hours, I'm sure I can too. True. Okay, let me see. We need to, uh... Oh, I need to check and make sure I got all the letters for that area. Yeah, so now we just have to get the boat letters and we're done with the game. But we have to get our murky fish first. That's not a murky fish. That's not a murky fish either. That's one. Two more. We need two more. Let me see if I can buy murky oil. Might be able to. No. No, I can't. God dang it. Okay. You win this round, lady. You suck. any more of these no well dang it dude uh all right murky fish me too give me two please everything but a murky fish give me the murky okay one more one more murky 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 yay you just had to make the murky murky noise and they pop up it's magic can you believe it Alright, let's spend the rest of the day getting redwood trees, because I need those as well. I'm done with the crystals, so I don't need those. But I need you. I wonder how many of these I have. You get two, supposedly you get two per tree, but I don't know if that's true or not, because last time I was really struggling to keep count of them. Redwood logs. See, I only have 11, but it feels like I've chop down. Maybe all of them don't give you two, but it seems like it does from what the messages say, but I don't know. Um, oh, I can make my murky oil. That's what I should do for the rest of the day. So when I wake up the next morning, I don't have them. What? Oh, did I already make it? Uh, is there any... Oh, sand bucket. Yep. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Crap! There we go. Alright, we'll wake up the next morning, see if we have all the murky stuff in the uh, buckets and the bottles, and we'll hopefully complete at least two boat parts a day, I would hope. Yes. You follow the blueprint listed among the paperwork with a bit of work and a portion of the day behind you. You manage to complete the strange contraption and properly integrate it inside the ship. As you finish up the installation, you notice a pole in the hull of the ship, which had previously been covered by a crate where the engine now lies. Inside is a message in a bottle. A strong heart will be required for the journey ahead, as will a strong mind. The engine is both. The engine is a combination of alchemy and engineering. By itself, the engine is but a hollow shell, but with what the engine craves, it is power. With the key, the engine is away. You followed the formula listed amongst the paperwork. With a bit of work and a portion of the day behind you, you manage to complete the mixture and concoct plenty of the fuel mixture B. While pouring the mixture into its appropriate compartments within the wood, the ship, you notice a hole in the wood of the ship. A bottle with a message was hiding within. Alchemy is a powerful art. Just as a heart needs blood, the engine needs fuel. But a heart doesn't pump 
the water from the sea through the body. Just as this engine doesn't pop, just pump just any concoction through it, there's a specific need, a specific hunger. Alright, these two are too easy, because I could buy either, actually. And the redwood, we know where to get it. And supposedly you get two logs per redwood tree, but I don't think that's true. How many candles do I have? Because I will buy the rest of them. Because I can sell everything else now. I don't need anything else that I have. If I have anything to sell. No, I need those, actually. I lied. I need the redwood logs still. <laughs> Don't need this anymore. Okay, I don't have any to sell, so... I guess I had just the right amount for that kind of stuff. I don't need to fish anymore, so I can sell these. I don't have enough. God dang it, I don't have anything, bro. You wanna buy some of my stuff, bro? Do I have any of the stuff that you buy? Yes. Sick. Alright, now we buy a butt ton of candles. Give me the candles. God, she sells candles for crazy expensive. What the world? But I should have enough candles now. I just need to get the redwood logs. And we're out of this place. To freedom! To the world! To complete the dream that my grandfather, ha grandfather had, but will never accomplish. Alright, so I was at 11, 15, 17... 19, supposedly. Let's see. See, that's a lie. You get one per freaking tree. That's a lie. That tree lies to you. That's why I couldn't keep a count with it. Just a fun fact. Not a big deal, but I, I was, it was tripping me out earlier because I was like, if I keep getting two of these, why do I not have enough redwood logs? And this sam answer is simple, my good sir. Because it's only giving you one. See where it says two? That's a lie. Alright, I need one more. Oh, sorry. Forgot I gotta change the crystal sometimes. But that's literally the only thing I have left to do, so there's no reason- Oh, I'm not tired enough. God dang it. Well, let's do the regular fish in case I need to make another candle for some reason. Okay, we don't have enough roaches. Alright, let's go to sleep. Alright guys, this is our last day. We have completed the game 100%. Got every letter, did all the things. We'll take one extra tree just to be safe. I should probably include that. Yeah, you definitely only get one uh, log per day. I should I'm going to include that in my review to the creator, so hopefully he can either decide to change it or make it where it says one log. Just, I guess it doesn't really matter, but just to be nice, I think you might want to know. You might not want to know. I don't know. I just tell people what I see, and hopefully they don't get mad. Work on the ship's reinforcement. You follow the schematics listed amongst the paperwork. With a bit of work and a portion of the day behind you, you manage to incorporate the red wood reinforcements through the sh throughout the ship. As you're setting in and securing one of the red wood reinforcements, you notice in one of the cracks in the wood a message in a bottle. Wood is a strong heart and mind without a durable body. Even if protected from the menaces of the air, there are still those things that lurk beneath the depths. So, so many things. The body will need to endure any hardship the sea can throw at it. The body cannot know failure. You follow the schematics listed amongst the paperwork with a bit of work and a portion of the day behind you. You manage to assemble the heat starter inside the ship. While setting up the heat starter, you notice a message in a bottle tucked in a corner you hadn't noticed previously. A catalyst, a push, a thing to set us in motion. It is so simple yet so vital, a cascading effect. Once the path is set, it becomes reality from sand to glass, from wood to cold, from air to fire, from life to death. It is set. Now we have all the things. So I'm going to go back just to show you that I have all the messages. Because it looks nice when everything's completed. Da 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 Alright, let's go to the ending now. Hopefully that wasn't my last candle. Sick. If you are ready to be gone from these shores and have nothing left to do in regards of your own interests, board the ship. Board the ship. 
You board the ship and follow the final instructions. Everything is prepared. Everything is ready. You situate yourself in the navigation compartment of the ship, using windows to see both above and below. The ship slowly slips free of the cave it was confined to. The wood creaks and lurches. The rumble of the engine reverberates around the hull. Though one small window, you can see it in the distance. The shore near Van Cove is getting further and further away. Your eyes close as you think about how far you've come since moving into your grandfather's cabin. You let out a relaxed sigh and open your eyes. A glint catches your attention. You look down at the desk you're seated in at and notice a glass bottle that hadn't been there moments before. This is how you know you're screwed. You pick the bottle up, pop the cork, and pull the free letter from within. Finally, the way is set. Let us leave these shores. I have been idle for so long. I have forgotten the taste of the world, and it has changed much. But we will taste it together, you and I. In fact, there is much for us to do, together as one. See, the freaking Cthulhu has been sending you dang, or whatever Elder Tor it is, has been sending you messages in the bottle. Like, <laughs> I actually called it pretty well when I first played through this, because I was like, if your grandpa's trying to get you to get knowledge, most likely he's either so mad that he's setting you up for failure, or this happens pretty much where Cthulhu's mimicking him. And then there's the Cthulhu! The end of the story. If you enjoyed this game, please consider joining Jeff Sproul's Patreon at https colon slash slash www.patreon.com slash Jeff Sproul. Be sure to wishlist the next game, Roaches to Riches, which I already have because I enjoyed this game a lot. I'm going to try to remember my review from the first one, but I was pleasantly surprised from by this game because I thought it was going to be like a point-click mystery game where you actually had to like look for items for like hours on end. But more, it's like you're steadily progressing by getting mi minerals. It's like a resource um, management slash gathering game, and it's really fun. I, I think it's fun. It keeps my brain working, and there's enough story throughout it that you don't just feel like you're grinding. There's certain parts where you are just grounding like when you're getting the boat at the end. But if you actually play it well, like you know what you're doing, um, you can go from like message to message to the end of the game and you're not stuck too badly. Um, I'm going to do the credits as well. Game version 822 of 2020. Credits, plugins, some random dude, HTTP, some random dude site, Victor Sant, Victor Engine Scripts, WordPress.com, Galve, GalveScripts.com. This guy makes all the music. Classic Horror 1 by Kevin McLeod of the Clan McLeod. Come Play With Me by Kevin McLeod of the Clan McLeod. <laughs> Sorry, it's a Highlander reference. All the music's by Kevin McLeod of the Clan McLeod, just letting you know. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I'm sorry this had to get split into two parts. When I played through it originally, I played through the whole game all at once. But for whatever reason, at the hour mark, Cthulhu corrupted my freaking video file and got it stuck on that one screen. Hopefully, hopefully, Cthulhu didn't mess up the part two that I just did since I had to play through it again. Like I said, though, I didn't mind playing through it again because it's a fun game. I thought it was pretty neat. Definitely different. Alright guys, thanks for watching as always. Bye!